good morning to everyone in today's video we are going to see lambda by 4 line lambda by 2 line or lambda by 8 line so the same thing we call it as in quarter wave line half wave line or 8 line 8 wave line okay so here uh, the concept is very simple whatever the line length okay whatever the line length is assumed as lambda by 4 or lambda by 2 or lambda by 8 so based upon the line length value we are termed that way uh, line so here in the first part we are going to see lambda by 4 line so which is also known as quarter wave uh, line so if the line length okay if the line length is lambda by 4 if line length is lambda by 4 we call it as a quarter wave line so in this quarter wave line which is excited with an voltage vs and the current as is and the load i mean the transmission line is terminated with a load of zr now we are supposed to see what will be your input impedance okay so we already stated various points in our previous classes whatever the input car input impedance okay whatever the input impedance is equals to your characteristic impedance z naught then the line is not having any reflections other than the characteristic impedance the line is uh, supposed to have some reflections now we are going to see whether this characteristic i mean input impedance is equals to your characteristic impedance or not okay what will be the value so already in our previous classes we seen input impedance for a lossless transmission line zn equals to z0 so directly i am taking that formula and substituting uh, here this beta l okay i am replacing this beta l because based upon the length of the transmission line i have to consider this so beta we already know 2 pi by lambda so whatever the length of your transmission line for quarter wave lambda by 4 so now this beta l is nothing but your lambda by 2 so now the zn expression is nothing but z0 into zr plus j z0 tan pi by 2 divided by z0 plus j z r tan pi by 2 so when you are having this tan pi by 2 okay when you are having this tan pi by 2 don't um, uh, substitute the value infinity directly so you just take it out of the common tan pi by 2 common so tan pi by 2 tan pi by 2 on denominator will be cancelled over to each other the left over term will be z r divided by tan pi by 2 plus j z naught divided by z naught tan pi by 2 plus j z r so here right now substitute tan pi by 2 so z naught to j z naught divided by j z r j j will be cancel over so the z in value nothing but z naught square divided by z r so from this from this we can say that whatever the quarter wave line okay whatever the quarter wave line it can transfer can transfer low impedance value into high impedance value and vice versa so this will be considered as impedance inverter okay it will be considered it as impedance inverter <coughs> so here the quarter wave line may be used as an impedance transformer for impedance matching of the load zr with input impedance of z okay so when you go for the quarter uh, half wave the same thing will be repeated only the variation is instead of uh, l equals to lambda by 4 we are considering l equals to lambda by 2 so again we are going to consider our input impedance so simply substitute your beta l value as 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 2 so now the beta l value is nothing but your pi so replace with your expression so zn equals to zr plus j z naught tan pi divided by z naught plus j 
z are tan pi so we substitute the tan pi value so z naught z naught will be cancel over so z in nothing but your z r so here the input impedance of a uh, half wave line is equals to your load impedance when you go for your qual uh, eight wave line the length of the transmission line will be equals to lambda by eight we su uh, simply substitute your beta l value in your input impedance okay so two pi by lambda into lambda by eight so your beta l value equals to pi by four so pi by four is nothing but and pi by 4 is nothing but you are 1 so here if you observe this this is an expression where the real and imaginary values are equal so zr on numerator of the real value will be equals to the imaginary value of your denominator so to cancel over these two terms is very difficult for me so for that I just take the modulus on both sides so when you take modulus on both sides it will be z modulus zn modulus equals to z naught modulus when it go for the complex term modulation so square root of z r square plus z naught square so here right now the numerator and denominator will be equal so cancel over two on each other so z n modulus equals to z naught modulus that means in lambda by eight line is used to transfer any impedance okay any impedance of z r to an input impedance z n whose magnitude will be equals to z naught so whatever may be the in, uh, load impedance you may connected the input impedance will be equals to the value of your characteristic impedance in your lambda by a line so finally we can give a conclusion like this so when i go for the lambda by 2 line okay when i go for the lambda by 2 line my z input okay my z input will be equals to my load impedance z r similarly when i go for the lambda by 4 line okay lambda by 4 line it will be equals to the z naught square divided by z r in the similar fashion if i go for the lambda by 8 line it will be equals to my z naught characteristic impedance the same thing we see so here so z naught square divided by z r so for half wave z n equals to z r and for lambda by 8 it will be equals to that. this is the summary of your impedance transformations thank you